Hey there, Internet. I am the PC Goblin. This video is actually a little bit older. I was just going through my hard drive trying to free up a bunch of space and I came across a bunch of footage that I wasn't able to actually turn into movies and complete and post, so this is one of those videos. And in this video, it actually ends tragically even though everything looks like it was going good. So I'll explain that at the end, but let's get to it. So today I'm going to be moving uh, my NAS from this case to this case. And the reason I'm doing that is this one is a 15 bay non-hot swap unit, so it's really hard to get the drives in and out. Once they're there, I mean, you don't have to move them, but if something goes wrong or you need to add a new drive or something like that, it's a real big pain in the butt to be able to pull the drives out so that you can actually do something with it and put a drive in. Whereas over here on the hot swap, it's real easy to do. You just pull out the tray, pop a drive into it, push it back in, and you're good to go. So, now I've told you why and what I'm doing, Let's get to it. So I forgot to mention earlier that I'm also adding some more hardware to it. I'm adding a 6G SATA card. So this is not a RAID card, but it does have four SATA ports on it. So I'm gonna be able to connect more drives into it. And the reason it's not a RAID card is because FreeNAS, it handles the RAID. It's a software RAID, so hard, a hardware RAID, so a hardware RAID card is useless. And here's the card itself, little dinky guy. And then I'm adding a 10 gig card to it as well, so I get more bandwidth speaking to it across my network and whatnot. All right, it's back to me. At this point, I had made my first mistake and kept going without more batteries, so I don't have any more footage, but everything was cabled, all the components were moved over, all that was left was to move my seven drives over. So I had a RAID 5 situation set up, I had four data drives, two parity, and then one that was sitting there doing nothing as a hot spare, but I didn't know which was which when I moved the, the drives over but you know, shoved them all in in the very right drives. So when you're looking at the drive bays on the front, I had populated them from right to left. I had also grabbed four two terabyte drives that I had sitting in another machine that I had built that I hadn't used for a year or two, and I would put those in the very left drives. So when you're looking at the front of it again, this was left to, 
left to right and I populated all of those with those drives. So I now had 11 of the 12 drive bays filled. And because the machine worked previously in the other case, I didn't think anything of it, even though now I had a completely different carrier solution. I turned the machine on and wouldn't, nothing would happen. So I was like, that's weird. Tried unplugging cables, did a few troubleshooting stuff, got it to boot with none of the drives plugged in with power, then turned it back off, plugged all the power cables back in, turned it back on, same thing, and then I just kept troubleshooting trying to figure out what was wrong, and I never thought to take my drives out. So that was my real big, huge mistake that I made with that. So I kept going on with that for a while, making sure to turn it off every single time, or I made sure to turn it off before, not after. And the last time that I turned it on, I turned it on and poof! I lost the magic smoke from the server, so at that point, it was dead. It was a really bad night. <laughs> but I continued on, did a few more troubleshooting steps, found out that I had killed my motherboard. So I got the motherboard replaced and plugged everything back in, but this time I removed the drives, turned it back on, got into my free NAS environment and found out that I had killed one of my sticks of memory, turned it off, you know, shoved all the drives back in, turned it back on, found out that it wouldn't see my data set or my RAID group anymore. I, at this point, I was really depressed because I figured I'd killed several terabytes of data that I've been collecting over the years. So turned it back off, um, troubleshot the memory, tried in different slots, realized the memory stick was dead, got that replaced, and then with the drives, I had killed the very first two carriers, if you're looking at it, killed the very left carrier and the middle carrier, or the first eight drive bays. So I'd killed my four two terabyte drives, which wasn't a huge loss. I didn't really have data on it. I was gonna nuke that stuff anyways, but you know, I lost those four drives. And then I'd killed the next three drives that I'd moved over, my four terabyte drives. And those three drives that I killed happened to be all data drives. So if I'd been at least a little bit lucky, I would have only killed two data drives and my hot spare. But that wasn't the case. And I had actually thought I had put my hot spare in it. But somewhere along the lines a few years ago, what what was my hot spare was no longer my hot spare. So, so I lost track of that, you know, when I was doing testing with my free NAS originally. So that, that sucked. At this point, I was desperate to get my RAID array back up and going. I was just trying to save one drive so I could get my data off of it or at least get my data up and going and then replace the two remaining bad drives so it could rebuild and I had parity and I had my data again. So I had all my drives out and I had figured out which one was the spare drive, the actual spare drive that had no data on it. And I had taken one of the drives that gotten fried and I took off the PCB on the back like this, pulled that off of the good spare, put it on one of the dead drives, and then I shoved that into the machine and it actually saw the drive, but it wasn't able to see the data, so I was really perplexed by that. And because of that, I found out that you actually have to take the bad board's BIOS or little chip off of it and take the programming from that and reprogram a new good board to put back on the bad drive. And then once you've done that, it actually allows the system to see the drive just like it did before. Now if the drive died because of something inside of it so like the platters died or the head crashed or something like that then it wouldn't work but if it's just something that happened to the board this thing on the back that'll actually bring it back so I found a website that actually sells the boards and will actually program it if you send them the bad board so I took a chance sent them the bad board bought a new board from them as well and they programmed it sent it back put it back on the board and holy crap it worked <laughs> I put, all, I put the four drives back in the system, turned it back on, and boom, I had access to my data again. It was a miracle. So as soon as that was done, I turned it off. I'd, I'd actually RMA'd three of the drives already, since, you know, three of the drives had died. So I took two of the new replacement good drives, shoved them in the system, marked them as replacements. It rebuilt the RAID. It took, I don't know, two or four days. It took a long time for it to rebuild. But as soon as it was done, I shut it down, pulled out the drive that I had put the replacement board onto, put in the new replacement into the system, let it rebuild that one, boom, all my data was back. So fortunately it wasn't a data loss, I had just lost a whole bunch of time to try and troubleshoot and get it back up and going and all the downtime. I think I spent a month, maybe a little bit longer, trying to get all my data back and get it up and going. But it was well worth it, I got it up and going. If you're trying to save a bad drive, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to that website and get your drive up and going like I was with mine. But that's it for this. If you guys like this, go ahead and smash that like button. If you don't, you know, go ahead and hit that dislike button. And hopefully you do like my stuff and you wanna see more of it, so hopefully you'll also hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.
Fun fact, this is actually one of the drives that died one of the two terabytes. So, anyways. <laughs>